So these might be some of the most crazy custom tactics I've ever seen, but they actually work. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code JAMBU for 5% off. So a good friend of mine, Dave Wiltz, actually hit his first ever 20-0 using these custom tactics. They are the 41212 wide. I've never seen anything like this, but clearly he's doing something right and the tactics do actually work. So I recommend you guys give this a try. Let's get into it. So as you can see, this is my current team. I'm trying to save a few coins. Um, I hit 17 wins actually using this. I was playing a little bit bad and rusty, but you can see the general premise of the team i was playing in a four triple two uh, with perisic and zakaria as the cdms but you're not here for that you're here for these crazy four one two one two tactics now i have not known this year for this formation to actually be used at a high level uh, the four one two one two narrow is a little bit of a different story that's definitely viable but this is actually the wide version and I'm going to show you guys these tactics. I've given them a try and they actually do work. And like I said, he hit 20 and 0 using these. It's bizarre. Like when he sent me these, I was thinking, Dave, what am I seeing here? But they do actually work. So 41212. Um, press after possession loss, which interesting one. You know, after this recent patch, I think it's still very OP. Um, the stamina drain just simply doesn't do enough. It's very viable. And the way he described these tactics for me is it just epitomizes the meta. Um, it just over exaggerates the meta like to another level. So he's pressing after possession loss. 45 on the whip, which obviously narrows it down quite a lot. This is a wide formation by trade. Uh, you have a left mid and a right mid. Having the whip this low, it's just going to tuck him in a little bit more, making it easier to defend. 72 depth. He'll be going for those auto offside traps. Those mixed in with a press off to possession loss means that you're going to be able to just win the ball back high up the pitch. Your opponent is not going to have a lot of room in the midfield. Fast build up. Very interesting one. Not used a lot at all. Um, everyone normally just goes for balanced. What you do get with a fast build-up is a lot of options going forward. And he's mixed it with forward runs as well. So if you haven't been able to tell already, this is an extremely attacking setup. But I do actually think it's viable in defending as well. And you'll see why when we get to the instructions. But fast build-up forward runs, 55 on the whip. So he's upped it a little bit from the defensive whip. Um, I guess just to give a little bit more natural uh, play out wide and get the wingers involved a little bit as well. Seven players in the box, which is what I like to use in all my tactics. I would recommend that for you guys as well. And then three on the corners, one on the free kick. So this combination of the fast build up and forward runs, I found just gives you so many options. It can definitely leave you vulnerable. I feel like if you're the sort of player that relies on your defending a lot, um, you're going to be okay with this because if you could defend manually um, and you know if you struggle to attack normally you're going to get all the options in the world and then still have five players back as you're going to see um, in terms of the players i'd recommend using in this setup your cdm needs to be a defensive beast he's the only cdm there he's not got any center mids covering for him it needs to be a beast i've got zakaria uh, because he's really quick really big defensively and physically just a monster and he works really well in this your cam gets involved a lot they need to be an influential player someone like neymar uzman dembele that is the sort of player you're going to need in this setup they're absolutely key when it comes to this because there are times where your left mid and right mid are just a little bit too wide to get involved so you know your cam has to be a player that's going to be able to link the play up the benefit of this, if you do have the two strikers, means that you've got those little triangles, not just between the cam and the other striker, but also the wide mids. Uh, they do actually tuck in a little bit. Uh, you guys will see the instructions as well, which make this tick very nicely. But for the wide mids, they've got to be quick. They've got to have good stamina as well, in my opinion. Otherwise, they're just going to get knackered running up and down the line. Um, and then for the strikers, just the same with every FIFA setup, basically. Quick, good at dribbling, good at finishing, uh, skill moves if 
possible as well. The instructions are very interesting. So he went for a stay central, get in behind and stay forward on all of the strikers, which basically means they're just going to sit up there trying to get in behind, which as we said earlier, epitomizes the meta. It means you're going to be able to just spam through balls with the cam to the strikers. They're going to be making those runs all game and just staying on the last defender, which is very nice in terms of your build up. For the cam, he has come back on defense, but also get into the box for cross. So essentially what you're going to see here is when you're defending, uh, the cam's going to drop deeper, but in the attack, he's going to, he's basically going to act as like a box to box midfielder from the cam position, which is a very interesting setup. But like I keep saying, as bizarre as it sounds, it works like he hit a 20 and over with it. So you can't complain. For the left and right mid, stay forward, get in behind, and get into the box for cross. And I like how he's done this because with the cam set to get into the box, with the wingers setting to get into the box, and then also, you know, getting behind on the strikers, you're always going to have like five players bursting forward, especially with the uh, tactics we've put on with the forward runs. It's, you're just going to have so many options going forward. It's going to be a pleasure to attack with this setup for sure. Um, so that is what he goes with for the wingers. For the CDM, cover center, cut pass and lane, stay back. So this is your absolute defensive guy. If you can get like Vieira in for this, it's going to work super well for you. He's just going to sit in front of the defense all game, not get involved in the attack and just act as an extra defender, which is super important when we're playing such an attacking setup. And then for the defenders, um, he's actually got stay back while attacking, overlap, and then also step up. Um, I think the thinking behind this is, is something I've done in the past. You want your fullbacks to stay back in a setup like this, but when they do occasionally make that run, you want it to be an overlapping run and not an inverted one. So that is the thinking there. Step up is also something I've tried this year, which I do actually like, and I think it complements a style where you're pressing and trying to push high up because it just basically means as soon as they pass the ball into their striker, your defenders are just going to step up and try and win the ball back. So it helps a little bit. You're going to get a little bit more AI assistance, and that is going to help you. But guys, these are some really interesting tactics. Um, to hit 20 and over it, you know, you can't do that with bad tactics. So they're definitely going right somewhere. Um, I'd be really interested, you know, for a few of you to go and try it, see what you think. Some of you, I just know, aren't going to like it. And that's because of how offensive it is. It's very attacking. Some of you, I think, will love this with the amount of options you've got. You're just going to have to let me know. But I appreciate all of you guys watching, as always, of course. If you are new to the channel, please do remember to subscribe. We are on our way to 100k. If we can hit that one day, that would be insane. But thank you so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. And good luck using these crazy tactics.